<laughs> All right, welcome, welcome. My name is Aaron Adams, and uh, if you're watching the recording from this training, today is uh, January 7, 2021. Uh, you can see I have four guests with me on the screen. Um, next to me, it's a Brady Bunch uh, dude <laughs> set up here. Uh, I got next to me uh, uh, Fred Dumar, Colonel Fred, uh, business partner. Right, welcome, he, welcome. My name is Aaron oh, wait, Adams. Hold on. And, uh, watching the Oh, I think somebody's got their live stream up. I'm getting feedback from it. 2021. Uh, you can see I have. Is that any of you guys? Oh, no, now, it's, it, now it stopped. It that was weird. I was getting feedback of my own voice from when it started streaming. There, there, we're, we're always good for at least one technical difficulty. That's fine. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea because I didn't have the stream up. Did you have it up, Fred? No. All right. Anyway, you didn't have it up, did you, Ramis? No, it's, I'm not sharing anymore. No, I, I, bet, I bet Paul did it. Always blame the, the tech guy. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we wanted to put this together for you today. Most likely you received a link from this uh, via email or text. And um, uh, with me in the, uh, would that be a salmon colored sweatshirt, Jed? Uh, just pink. Just pink, <laughs> okay. So uh, is uh, my business partner, Jed Rammel. He's here based in Idaho. Um, he is a mobile home expert. In two weeks, he's actually teaching a two-day mobile home training on how to invest in mobile homes, all aspects of modular homes, mobile home parks, manufactured homes, how to run the numbers, how to find the deals, how to flip them. And so uh, at the end of the presentation today, we're going to tell you how you can get your hands on mobile home information and specifically how, if you're up for it, uh, you can attend a training with uh, Jed, a two-day live training that we're going to be, he's going to be offering in Indianapolis. Uh, also on screen with me from Chicago is uh, Dennis and Ramez. How are you guys? Hello. Um, um, partners in Get Real Estate Education, um, long-time uh, uh, business associates. Uh, Dennis and I uh, have uh, over almost a, a thousand common clients, investors who've taken retirement money uh, and used it to buy property from me. And uh, Dennis and his company, the IRA Club, in their capacity as a trustee, um, handles the logistics and, and the, and the uh, compliance aspect of that for our clients. So we have a lot of investors that we've sold property to over the year that wanted to own that property in their 401k or their IRA, and uh, they've done that with the IRA Club. And so um, if you've received a text message with this uh, training and you're watching it uh, at our YouTube channel, then uh, that came from Fred. So if you, at the end of the, the presentation, we're gonna have two uh, opportunities for you to take advantage of. We have a $49 opportunity and we have a $500 opportunity. If you're interested in either of those, then uh, Fred will explain how you can take advantage of them uh, when we finish up today. So um, the first thing that I wanna do is kind of introduce a little bit, if this is the first time you've heard from us, maybe you've uh, seen one of our Facebook ads and that's how you got on our list. Uh, maybe you've registered for something in the past, um, but this is the first actual training that you're watching because, um, you know, for whatever reason, Fred wrote a really good text or a good email that made you interested. And so what I wanted to do initially is I want to introduce my company. Uh, I want to introduce uh, Dennis and his company and let them kind of give you an overview for about the first 15 minutes. Uh, then we'll let Team Chicago cut out and um, we will talk all things mobile home with Jed. So Fred, Jed, and I will then talk mobile home for the remainder of the hour. We're not going to take more than an hour of your time. You're going to get some really great content, regardless of if you buy the $50 or the $500 package today. Um, and you're also going to get some interesting information from Dennis and his company. Let me switch over to our PowerPoint presentation here, keeping the, the guys on the screen. You got a lot smaller there. But... Um, <clears throat> On the, uh, on the screen is a pie chart of my company and its organization structure. Uh, I own Alpine Capital Solutions. Um, I, I currently own four, uh, five property management companies, uh, one in Indianapolis, Kansas City, here in Idaho. Jed's my partner in our operation here, uh, Charlotte, and also in Dallas, as you can see on the screen. Let me just uh, highlight those. Um, we, I also uh, own... Um, Construction companies in those cities. Here in Idaho, we have a mobile home dealership that we're going to be talking about today. Um, and we also have real estate brokerages in Dallas, in Indianapolis, in Idaho, Kansas City. Uh, across all of the markets, we're managing uh, right about 3,000 doors, 3,000 properties. 
for investors like you. So we, we get a lot of people that want to own rental real estate. They don't want to be the landlord. They don't want the headaches of, um, of property management. And we, we take care of that for them. And um, after the last crash in 2008, there were many, many investors that had lost 40, 50, 60 percent of their retirement funds. Imagine how, you know, how much money you have in your 401k right now and waking up tomorrow, the stock market has crashed like it did in 2008. And now you have half of what you have today. And that was the reality for many undiversified investors um, and, and workers in 2008, transitioning into 2009. And so many, many people said, you know what? I just lost half my money. It's with Fidelity. It was invested in the stock market. Screw this. I'm, I, I got to change. I don't want to keep dumping money because I know the market's going to crash again. It tends to crash every 10, 10 years or so. And so um, many investors started looking alternate ways to invest. And Dennis and his company, the IRA Club, let me show you their uh, homepage real quick. It's just IRA Club, let me bring it up here, dot org. And so we have that on the screen now. Uh, and, and, and Dennis, why don't you give an overview or Ramez, either one, of, of the IRA Club, what it is you do for investors, and, and how, how we met and how what your product uh, has been so valuable for our clients. Sure, thank you. So <clears throat> we are a IRA uh, administrator, uh, and we do 401ks also, but IRAs are, you know, primarily. And <clears throat> when you uh, have uh, an IRA, probably a lot of people here have an IRA. Matter of fact, over 70 million households in America have an IRA. Uh, I don't know if you knew that number. Wow. There's a big, a lot of people, hold, and there's $11 trillion in those accounts. What we find uh, when we really get close to that $11 trillion is a lot of it is, you know, underperforming. It's underperforming because it maybe it's in underperforming mutual funds. Maybe it's in annuities they are paying poor returns. Maybe uh, people are just, you know, getting uh, poor advice uh, or unwilling to, to, you know, get out of money markets. Tons and tons of money are still in money markets, earning next to nothing. And so what we say is, look, at, there are many investments that you can make with that money that are completely allowable, completely permissible, and almost encouraged that are very solid investments, investments that are not correlated to the stock market, not gonna have the ups and downs of the stock market. One of those would be uh, uh, income producing property, such as single family homes, uh, et cetera. And so if I uh, take my IRA money and take it out of those stocks that are, you know, are fluctuating and put it into a single family home, there's going to be a rent check that comes in every month. Uh, homes continue to appreciate. Uh, there's some areas that are appreciating faster than others. Indianapolis is appreciating very rapidly. Um, uh, Charlotte is appreciating very rapidly. Many areas are appreci appreciating very rapidly. So not only do you get the appreciation, but you get that cash flow every month from that, uh, that rent money. Now, that's a wonderful thing, but there's a downside. The downside is uh, especially with the incoming administration, you're going to get taxed to death. Uh, and the taxes are going to eat up all those beautiful profits that you're going to earn. So when you get all the stability of, of the rental income property, uh, uh, far more stable than the stock market is, far more reliable than the stock market is. Two, you're going to get the income from that. That's a wonderful thing. And then it, with the current tax structure or the new tax structure we're going to be seeing, you're going to end up giving away all that money in taxes. So investing inside of a Roth or a traditional IRA is going to allow you to have all that upside without the tax burden. And so the owning uh, assets inside of an IRA now is better than it's ever been before. And fundamentally, it just comes out to this. Any good investment is better if you do it inside of a Roth IRA, period. There's no investment you can make, a good investment you can make that wouldn't come out better if you did it with a Roth IRA, a lot better. So we've actually put together uh, uh, some charts on this topic. And if you don't mind, let's let's do that. Uh, and so Ramez will walk us through some of those charts. Can we bring those up? Absolutely. Here oh, oh, sorry about that. Let me get there. We there go. we go. And this is off our website, and this is available to everybody. And you can play with this at home uh, if you want to. This is just one of the charts, and I'll let uh, Ramas take over. 
<laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. All right. So to Dennis's point, just the the underutilized IRA, which I feel is one of the main you know investment tools that's so underutilized in in when it comes to self directing, as Dennis you know mentioned, ninety seven percent of Americans don't even realize this is an option. So we created these uh, uh, retirement calculators, and one of the ones that we wanted to showcase was using your own taxable dollars versus ta- uh, oh sorry we lost it uh, versus. Uh, a traditional, which is tax deferred versus the Roth IRA, which is tax free. So with that being said, I'm probably going to have Aaron also help me out. And I kind of jumped into it a little bit early, but Aaron, if somebody had a uh, used their IRA for an alternative investment, let's say with a single family home, um, do you think after a 20 year span, do you think a 12 uh, uh, investment on is about right average you would say yeah we see that pretty regularly where we have people make five to five to ten percent a year on the appreciation uh three or four percent on tax benefits and then and then five percent on the on the rent so between all three benefits uh, you know making a a low double digit return is is pretty normal for real estate that's great so uh, so typically i would say 20 20 years is about right yeah that people typically hold their hard assets with the uh, Alpine. All right. So with that being said, your minimum investment is, you would say is about a hundred yeah. to start. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. So with that being said, if you had no contributions and you say, for example, we rolled over a hundred thousand from Fidelity, 12% returns on investment for 12, uh, 20 years. And assuming you're in the 32% tax bracket, because that's what most people aim for by the time they reach 60. Yep. And we were to calculate that. So if you were to use your personal funds, this is what you would end up with, Half a 519 months. versus tax deferred funds at 734. And take a look at the Roth, over a million dollars, almost double versus you using your own funds in your pocket. Just to give you the importance of using a Roth IRA, especially as Dennis mentioned, taxes uh, uh, are inevitably going up. So due to obviously inflation, um, and, uh, you know, we just dumped $4.4 trillion, not to mention the new stimulus package that just came out that it's only, it's going to happen, yeah. you know, whether it was Trump or Biden, it's going to happen. Yep. So, sure. yeah, it's impressive. And, you know, I had a, I had a, a, a very bright client call me yesterday and she said, Aaron, um, I've had, um, you know, for, for, for the first 15 years, I have my retirement plan and I just put it in Vanguard. And I, you know, she's like, I think I made probably about, you know, in their index fund, eight or 9% a year. And it was just so easy. And she said, and then, you know, a couple of years ago, I set up a self-directed IRA. I'm, I'm a client of the IRA club, but she said, you know, I've been making profits off these investments. And now I have all this cash sitting in the account. So I feel just like, it's like useless sitting in the account. And I'm like, well, yeah, but what return did you make on the investments? And she's like, I'm not sure. And I'm like, and what return were you making in Vanguard? And she said, I'm not sure. I've never had to think about that before. And I said, what if you, what if you had a, a deal where in two weeks you made 100? I've done flips where I, I did 10000 into a mobile home and doubled it. I mean, Jed and I just had a deal where uh, we did, you know, it was like, what, 20000 And we sold it for like, we made 200% in six months. If you were making 10% a year at Vanguard, it, 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 that you know that's <laughs> that's going to take you years to make what you made on one tr- who cares if you're sitting in cash if you just made 200 percent and i said she's like you're right i just had never thought about it and so self-directed for a lot of people is completely um it, it, it's a new way of thinking they're not used to that and, and to add to your point and to add to your point aaron most people always forget the the, the fees uh, you know self-directed fees versus you know, the fees that you see in your traditional brokerage firms are staggering. Those two to 3% eat away at a 20 year span, a third, if not half of what you think that you're going to make. You have a calculator for that. Can you, can we demo Actually, one of those? That'd be great. You know what? Oh, here you go. One second. Sorry, I'd stop sharing. So if we were to go back to that. So let's go back to that real quick, as Aaron just said. Yeah, the calculator go- section alone on the iraclub.org backslash calculator section is phenomenal. So actually just using the same exact numbers, the 100,000 that you were to roll over from 
Fidelity or Vanguards or the Schwabs of the world, your traditional brokers from whoever it is that you're dealing with. There's over 10,000, you know, uh, mutual funds that are out there. And we just said a 20 year span. Okay. And we're not going to contribute anything. Let's just keep it at zero. All right. And we just said that with Aaron, it's 12% returns. Okay. Let's just say with Vanguard, Fidelity, I'm so sorry, Van, Fidelity let's Schwabs say, of the world. Let's make it 9%. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's okay. Let's say let's go nine percent. I was going I was going off to the last 20 years to be honest with you. Let's say nine percent. Yeah. So IRA Club, so our fees, our annual fee is $175 with the asset being 125. Uh real estate is 165. So if it's on a hundred thousand, that's we said three hundred dollars. So it's 0.3 of a percent. Now we just said with Vanguard, uh, let's just we're, we're using hypothetical, you know. Um, brokerage firms. So let's just say one has two and the other one has 4%. And we're going to take in uh, inflation into account. Okay. And thank you, Dennis, for saying that actually the fees. All right. So if you were to calculate that, and you were just to take a look after 20 years, here's the IRA club. Take a look at what, how much that money is versus the 2%. Yeah. versus the 4%. 530 versus 380 versus 265. Big difference. Huge difference. Massive difference. So those are the other things that I also wanted to bring to people's attention is that's investable capital that, that's being taken away from you. You know, right. and most people always forget about those. And to be honest with you, nobody ever sees them because they're worked into the statements. You never, ever see these hidden fees coming. Yeah. Um, you know, for a lot of people, we find that that you know, only two or three percent of all investors take advantage of self-directing. It's usually just the wealthy Americans, and so maybe you're like, I didn't know I could own real estate with my four hundred one k. I didn't know that <clears throat> I can invest in a business with my IRA. It's a new thing because ninety seven, ninety eight percent of of Americans use their traditional Fidelity Merrill Lynch type structure, and so this is it's a new concept. And so as we've educated our investors on this. Uh, over the past uh, 10 years, um, it's been a huge um, percentage of the business that we do. I say I would say the more, majority of the investors currently that buy property from me are using um, profits they've made in the market in their retirement accounts, taking their 401k, setting up an account with, with IRA Club, transferring that money over, and then buying property from me. And then every month, instead of me sending the money to them, I send it to the trust account at the IRA Club. And so that's been a huge, per, you know, what, what do we have, Dennis, 930 or 900? And... Uh, the last time I, I looked, which was early December, was 944 houses. So obviously it's higher than that today. But you call, you call the thousand and we're, and we're right. Yeah, hundreds of, hundreds of investors, uh, hundreds of properties that we've, that we've set this structure up for. It's not a new thing. It just may be new to you. And so we wanted uh, you to know about IRA Club because uh, it's they're, 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 as you can see from what Ramas is just showing us, their website is a fantastic resource for information about this topic, and and they have some some great uh, kits, etc. Um, if you're watching a recording of this training uh, and you'd like to go to iraclub.org um, and just reference that you saw the uh, Aaron Adams training, um, then then I'm sure they got some uh, nice uh, freebies for you. Would that be correct, Ramas? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, um, or, or you can just email Fred at Alpine yeah. Capital Solutions, alpinecs.com, and he and he's happy to email an introduction to Team IRA Club. So whether you go to their website, uh, whether you email Fred, uh, we want to make sure that you have this information because uh, for for our investors, many of you have have now seen 10, 11, 12, 13 years of growth in the market and are starting to get nervous that maybe things are going to change. And, and the political things that have been happening, the, the you know, I get people say, I'm worried that a Democrat's a president. I'm worried that capitalism is going to get affected. I'm worried that taxes are going to go up. I get those concerns. Those, are, are, those have been causes in the past for, for markets crashing. Nobody knows when, if, or even if that will happen. We've all been thinking for a long time that that was going to happen, and, and markets have continued to grow up. But what savvy investors are doing right now is diversifying a percentage of their money. And, you know, D Dennis, you see all the time people who just are taking a percentage of their retirement money to diversify in real estate, correct? Oh, can you hear me? 
Of course we do. You know, I will tell you, because we, we, we write books on this topic, we write books on this topic, that the worst place for money today is cash. Keep it active. If you want to be in the stock market, you want to, okay, that's fine. You're, you're, you're taking that risk, and understood. But you want to invest probably $2 into a stable investment for every dollar you're investing in a, uh, a, a risk-oriented Impressive. investment. Yeah, yeah, that's a great, that's a good ratio. Well, um, know, go ahead, Dennis. I was about to say that, that, that I, I, what I want to hear about is uh, what Jed has to say. So if anybody wants any more information about IRA Club, you know, drop a note to Fred and, and he will contact us and we'll, we'll reach out to you and give you all kinds of information. Let's hear from Jed. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you stopping in. But wanted to just uh, let people know who you are to start. So I'll let them hop up and, 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 and uh, you know, the, the text that you received from us or the email that you received reference this topic of mobile home investing. So uh, we wanted to, and you guys can hop off whenever I'm us. Jump it off. Okay, there you go. Um, and so uh, I, we, we want to dig in on that topic because, um, Jed, you, you know, three years ago, you were not in this industry at all. Not at all. I, um, you know, Aaron, I think what's interesting is I uh, had been introduced to a mutual friend and his company had just been acquired by Blackstone. And I thought I knew things that I didn't know because the first thing he said to me was, I'll tell you what I want to invest in, uh, mobile home parks. So this is a guy uh, who has a sports arena named after his company who told me that the most interesting thing to him to invest in would be a mobile home park. So I should have known, but I didn't. That's hilarious. Well, why don't you talk about the, the kind of the the asset class, the evolution of what you've learned over the past couple of years as a way to, to, to walk people into, you know, what, what, what do people ask you the most about in this space? I think maybe the most common question I get is, well, if mobile home parks are so good, why don't I just build my own? Right. Yeah. They just, and I say, that's a, that's a great question. And that's the same question I had 36 months ago. Right. Um, and, and so I went in uh, wide-eyed and bushy-tailed to my local city and county offices and said, hi, my name's Jed. I would like to build a mobile home park. And they said, we would welcome a mobile home park. You can do whatever you want. And you get one home per quarter acre. And then I limped out with my tail between my legs because I realized that one home per quarter acre meant that there was no possible way that I could build my own mobile home park and have it cash flow. Right. And so then I began to see the value of older existing mobile home parks because of the magic phrase of grandfathered zoning. Yeah, which is, is a big deal, right? A big deal because when it, the zoning is grandfathered, you're able to put homes in places that no city in this country would allow anymore unless they have a new zoning provision, which we're actually starting to see now. So we are starting to see a turn back to cities and counties um, and municipalities being more willing to allow some mobile home zoning, but you can't call it a mobile home park. Right, right. Now, um, I want to throw a slide on the screen here, and um, it's talking about um, construction in the U.S., and when people say, why are mobile home parks such a big deal right now? You can see on the screen here, this is housing construction has barely kept pace with household growth for an unprecedented eight years. And so you see the blue line on the screen here is household growth. And then you see completion of units and, and there's, there's a gap, right? And, and the problem, or you can see it on this other slide here where we, we need about 1.7 million housing units a year built, and we've been underbuilding the market, we're probably short about 4 million housing units across the USA. And, and we've experienced that here in Idaho. Idaho has seen ridiculous amounts of growth. Talk about the, the construction and demand for single family home housing here in market in, in Idaho, Jed. Yeah, so it's interesting because it goes back to my first thought of I'd like to build a mobile home park. So you talk to builders and they say, I would love to build affordable housing. But with construction costs doing what they do, an affordable starter home is now three to four hundred thousand dollars. 
And so now we've created this massive gap where people getting their first home, their first purchase are walking into this cute little three, two bedroom home for $400,000. They can't afford it. No matter how you slice it between student loans, auto loans, credit card debt, they cannot afford that $300,000 starter home. So now we've had this interesting change where people are saying, I don't want a mobile home. And now they're looking at these new mobile homes for $100,000 saying, wow, this is really nice. This is a three bed, two bath home. I can afford this payment. I can do 800 a month plus the lot fee. I can do that. I can't do a $2,000 a month mortgage. Yeah, if we if we were uh, building, and I've built some homes over the in the past, but if we were if we decided we want to build some new spec homes, stick built traditional homes, and we decided that today in January, when do you think we would have those finished here in Idaho, Jed? Eleven months. Best case, yeah. Best case. We'd be lucky, lucky to get them on the market. Uh, by Christmas. That's assuming yeah. we already had plans approved. Correct. Land. If we don't, if I don't have any land, eighteen months. Yeah, minimum. And and now um, we, you and I, uh, have a parcel uh, here in Idaho. We have a couple parcels, but we have we're going to order a modular home. And that home, uh, how long will it take us to get that home built and on the lot? 10, 10, Ten to twelve weeks. Yeah, yeah. So. Huge difference. So that's one of the reasons why, because homes that are manufactured in the factory, whether it's just a trailer that's going to a trailer park or whether it's a modular home that you're going to put on a permanent foundation and offer it for sale um, competitive with the stick built homes, um, the, the timeline, the compressed timeline for manufactured housing is very attractive and the cost per square foot. Um, if you're going to build here in Idaho, not counting the cost of the land, what's the average uh, price per square foot for um, for a modular home, Jed? For a, are you saying modular I'm sorry, or traditional? For a, for a stick built traditional home. So cost to the consumer, I have not seen any new construction less than one sixty a foot. Yeah, I mean your brother's been getting quotes on uh, for for a home. And they were seeing the, what was the cheapest cost per square foot they were quoted? One one fifty five. That but that doesn't include the land, the sewer, the septic. Yeah. So I mean, really, that when you add their hot, you know, every, let's, if, even if we don't count the land, if we just count the utilities, they're going to be one hundred and sixty five a square foot, right? Yeah. And and that's the cheapest bid they have had. They've had more than one bid come in at two hundred dollars a foot. Now let's say they they they're like okay we don't want a custom home we're willing to live in a double double wide modular home, <laughs> um, I lost my job you know what what would they be looking at price per square foot for a modular home? Between seventy to eighty dollars a foot. So not only is it faster to have manufactured housing, but it's half the price or less. Right. And, and so when I say when I say a, a a modular home, keep in mind. It is a stick built home, two by six construction with sheetrock. Right. So I want to throw a slide up here and and identify for people um, the the three main ways that people are using mobile and manufactured homes. So what are what are as invest people or slash investors? And so what are you seeing, Jed? So um, number one, I would say you could fix up a home as a flip. Mm -hmm. um, you could uh, fix up a home and sell it and then stay on as a, the seller financing side mm -hmm. of it. So fix and finance yep. the home. And oh. then I, I would say that the third option would be any sort of park opportunities, maybe like a bigger bite. You're going from homes into parks. Well, don't forget, uh, Fred, what are we doing with ours? We're going to fix and rent. Fix and flip. <laughs> yeah. And so Fred and I bought a mobile home in somebody else's park for 5000 bucks. We've spent about 40000 on it. We'll be into about 45000 
But uh, what what rent rate are we looking at for that home, Fred? A uh, thousand a month. Yeah. So we're looking at a thousand a month uh, in rent um, to get a thousand a month in Idaho uh, for a traditional house, Jed. How much do I have to spend? One seventy five. Right. So again, for for an investor standpoint, even if Fred and I just held it as a rental, um, we're we're looking at double the return. We'd be making fourteen percent on that rental. And so fix and flip, uh, just flip it and sell it to someone. Jed and I have did, did what six or seven fix and flips last year, where we just bought it, fixed it, flipped it. Um, <clears throat> we put brand new manufactured homes in other people's parks and sold those. And then uh, some of them, we, we sold them and we stayed on as the bank. And so instead of getting rent, uh, they pay us the, the house payment. So there's, there's, those are three strategies that, that we see investors doing without even owning the park. Okay. And then you were talking about on the park side, how are people doing them? They're obviously buying a mobile home park, right? So you can buy a mobile home park and then that opens up so many opportunities because you can then use the exact same strategies we've talked about, but then you have full control. Yeah. So you can come in and say, okay, I'm going to rehab older homes and sell them. I'm going to rehab older homes and rent them. I'm going to rehab older homes and sell them as a on contract, or I can move in new homes into my existing parks. Yep. So, um, fix and flip a home, fix and finance a home, fix and rent a home, buy a park and then fill your park by flipping, by financing or by renting. Um, and then we mentioned, uh, the modular home space. So being a developer, talk about that for a sec, Jed. Modular has become more attractive and especially more attractive in the last few months. With 30 year traditional uh, mortgages, um, the rates going so low, everyone in this country is looking for affordable homes that they can traditionally finance through an FHA loan. And that's why the modular is so appealing and so unique. So a modular home gives you the benefits of the cost savings of having it pre-manufactured, uh, but then it's approved and engineered by the state and it allows it to qualify for traditional FHA, fin FHA financing. So we can have a 1300 square foot modular home on its own land on a, on a concrete foundation that's either craned on or set on and then it will qualify for traditional financing. So let's say it was with a nice lot, it was $200,000. Somebody's going to be into a brand new home with an FHA mortgage for $900 a month. And they can't even get in the ballpark of that, A, as a rental, and B, as a traditional stick built home. Yeah, it's huge. So um, on the screen, as we've been discussing, I've, I, I have six different strategies here. And, and these are the reasons why investors are so interested in this modular and mobile home space. Uh, f fix a flip a home in some, uh, fix and flip a home in somebody else's park, fix and finance a home in somebody else's park, fix and rent a home in somebody else's park. Number four is buying a park and then incorporating any of those three strategies yourself, something that Jed and I have done. Uh, being a developer and doing modular homes and then being a developer and actually developing parks. And we just bought some land uh, well, we have some land under contract right now where we're going to, uh, we're actually, it's a really interesting, uh, we're going back and forth between two ideas on that. We're, um, on one hand, we're thinking maybe we develop it like a traditional mobile home park, but what's the other idea we've been kicking around, Jed? Cities are so desperate for affordable housing that they're now willing to allow, you know, a platted uh, master plan where you can create some very small, small parcels, put modulars on those parcels and turn a, you know, a two or three acre piece of ground into 20 new homes on foundations, on individual parcels with common green space and sell them off individually. And that's unprecedented. That's never happened where we were at, but cities know that the number one complaint they're getting from residents and businesses is, hey, look, there are no affordable homes and nobody can get financing on them. 
So three years ago when I met Jed, I'm like, I love mobile and manufactured home and Idaho is ripe for opportunity and I want to scale this all up. So I want to get a dealership so that we can have access to the, to the cost, cheapest cost of homes from the manufacturer in Boise. Um, <clears throat> I want to buy some parks and we've bought those parks. We want to develop land. We want to do modulars. I want to hop over to the internet uh, for a bit and show you some examples of the deals that we've done. Now we have uh, a Facebook page. It's interesting. We don't. We, we have found that Facebook for our, for our dealership is more valuable than for uh, than a traditional website. Why would that be the case, Jed? Uh, the traditional website would have more of a traditional buyer mm -hmm. and Facebook is uh, specifically targeting maybe a younger demographic um, who is trying to figure out some creative ways to get into a home because the younger demographic is loaded with either student debt, wages have been suppressed, haven't kept up with cost of living increases. Um, or we've also seen uh, the baby boomer generation who spends some of their free time on Facebook. And so we have seen either the younger demographic or the baby boomers who really target Facebook. And so it's kind of a perfect scenario for us to market to them. So um, the first one we have here is we got this one on December 24th. Um, and Mike, who, who put this post up, who runs our dealership, you can see the name of our dealership is Slate Mountain Homes. It's in Pocatello, Idaho. We're affiliated with, with Fleetwood, the manufacturer out of Boise. And so this is the home on the truck, um, 1,800 square feet. What was the deal with this this home? This wasn't uh, this didn't end up on a permanent foundation, did it, Jed? No, that ended up in a park in Pocatello. Uh, I think a couple was moving here and wanted to have something they could retire with. They had a large down payment, and then they were willing to um, let us finance the remainder. Yeah. So uh, in this particular situation, they actually chose a park that they want to live in. They yep. custom ordered. I mean, you can see I have the shot of the kitchen. It's beautiful. Uh, those are not marble countertops, are they, Jed? <laughs> no. <laughs> they're, they, they look, but those are stainless steel fridge and stove. Those are stainless steel vent overhead. That is ceramic tile on the backsplash. Uh, the flooring is, is that sheet vinyl or is it a composite? Uh, you know, I have to look at that one. Yeah. I think that's vinyl over gypsum. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Um, drywall on the walls, not paneling. This is not your, this is not your father's mobile home. Right. Um, and so then we ended up selling them the home for about a hundred and what was a hundred and thirty thousand. Yes. Okay. And they said we want to just do a big down payment. Will you be the bank? And we said sure. And they actually gave us a down payment of uh, what was it thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this situation, you know, think how low the likelihood is that they, now they're always going to have to pay the lot rent uh, for the park that they're in. So sometimes we get people to come and do these custom orders and put on a permanent foundation. But let me show you. Okay, so on this video, this was a modular home that um, we did. And you can see it's being slid in the video onto its permanent foundation. This is what Jed was talking about earlier. Now, uh, I think that's when we got, had the home was shipped on site. There's the foundation that we put in. So the foundation is poured form concrete. What's it, about six foot? crawl space, Jed? About four. About four foot crawl space. Yep. And this home, the home was, you can see the, you can see the lot there. It's about, it's a, what, a third of an acre? A quarter acre. Quarter acre lot backs up to, uh, looks like a river back there. Yep. And uh, then we got the home uh, manufactured in, um, in, in Boise and shipped out. And then the guys slid it into place on the permanent foundation and let me hop over. It's on Zillow right now, isn't it, Jed? Yes. What's the uh, address for that one? Hmm. I'll just twenty one oh one North Fourth Avenue. I'll just bring it bring it up in uh, here. It is. Got it. It's six thirty North twenty eight eighty four East. Got it. So uh, here's our home, um, and uh, you can see we poured a driveway, and um, it's got the nice front porch. It's got the side entrance. Um, it's listed for $209,000. Three bedroom, two bath, 1,100 square feet. Um, gray finishes, as you can see. Uh, kitchens uh, comparative to the other one that we did. But what's different between this home 
and the other home that we just showed that got, went into the park, Jed. So the home that you're on yeah, and you see now is on a real property. So it's on land that you would own yourself. And it is also affixed and engineered to be affixed to the foundation. So a buyer, or the, the, the buyer of our first home that we saw uh, that goes into a park, they, if we wouldn't have been willing to be the bank, they, it would have been tough for them to find a loan because that home is in just a regular mobile home park. It's not on a permanent foundation. This home, very similar in terms of the finishes and, and the quality of how it looks, but we put it on that permanent crawl space, and that makes it qualify for regular FHA financing. They call, that, right. they call it a stick-built home, so like your traditional wood frame construction. So this appraises like a stick-built home. It qualifies for all stick-built financing, comps. What do you think this would appraise up to, Jed? Uh, up to 220000 because that's what we've seen in that area. Yeah, based on price per square foot. Yeah. And so we've had a ton of interest uh, since, since the new year. Uh, we've had showings all this week on this home. We anticipate getting a buyer for it pretty quickly. Um, but if we didn't get an offer that we liked, <clears throat> we could still rent this home out. And oh, we, at, at, at much higher than a mortgage. Absolutely. Yeah, we could probably get fourteen, fifteen hundred a month for it as a rental. And right. we have many investors that would love to own this rental property, uh, uh, this brand new home as a rental. And so, uh, the, the one of the big advantages of this mobile home investing space is that uh, there's so many different ways that you can make money. And that's why I'm going back to this slide here that we just created a few minutes ago. Um, that, 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 that uh, we get investors, maybe you're an investor that you've been in real estate for a couple of years, maybe you've done flips, maybe you've done some apartment complexes, you've wondered about this topic uh, as a content wise, Jed is going to be teaching a two day training on these six strategies uh, in Indianapolis on January 21st and 22nd. It's a live training. It'll be socially distanced, and, and uh, we're going to cap the number of attendees. But you can attend that two-day live training with Jed for $500. Um, and, and Jed will be methodically going through each one of these six strategies and what he's learned over the last three years. Jed, uh, you've been a CFO for a couple of companies. You have this uh, very diverse background. You've managed golf courses. You've done a lot of different things. When you, when you think about everything that you've done and you think about the next 20 years, what percentage of your personal work will be uh, in, the, in one of these uh, or a combination of these six ways of investing in mobile and manufactured homes? So I would say 90%, and I'll, and I'll tell you why. From a micro perspective, so from an individual home perspective, there's no greater opportunity to make big gains, big returns than in individual mobile homes. And from a macro perspective, there's no asset class that I've seen other than mobile home parks where you really have a chance to purchase something and legitimately double the cap rate. Yeah. Yeah. And so either from a micro perspective, individual homes, or from a macro perspective, you know, um, doing some value add in some parks, I, I, I don't think there's an asset class that you can get higher returns in. You know, I want to show a slide here real quick um, that talks about median home price in the United States. In 2013, in December of 2013, so six years ago, seven years ago, uh, the median value of a home in the U.S. was 163000 uh, Seven years later... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. yeah, seven years later, um, it's, it's up over two, almost 250,000. And so we've seen almost 45% appreciation. Now think about the average home in America is going for 250. If you live in California, you're laughing right now because there's no such thing as a home that cheap. Yeah, your median home price is probably four, 455. You live in, you know, in anywhere like Seattle, Las Vegas, um, East Coast, Boston, Chicago, you're, you're laughing also because there's no such thing as a quarter million dollar home. But what's great is um, if you live in Chicago and, uh, and, and you wanted to do, put some modular homes on permanent foundations, 
um, we have found that, that cities will welcome you with open arms because, uh, you know, I have a client who's doing this in Seattle with modular homes. And so while we're still underbuilt, mobile and modular are going to be hot. While we still see these really high median home prices, and I don't see it changing because interest rates are under 3%, and so people pay for what they can afford, and that's driven home prices even higher. While we're still short houses, while interest rates are under 3%, this space, this investing space, these six strategies remain and will continue to remain red hot. And so what's great is we've had clients, we have a, pa a former pastor that, you know, ha that was, was a man of faith, still is a man of faith, but led his flock for 40 years, decided he was going to retire here in Idaho. He didn't have a lot of money because he was a pastor. He was one of the good ones. Right? <laughs> it's the rich ones that are the bad ones. <laughs> He's a, he was a poor pastor, which meant that, you know, he spent everything on, on, on his uh, flock, his, his people. So he had a very small amount of money. His first mobile home flip, what did he buy that for? Like uh, 5,000 bucks, Jed? Yeah. And spent about 18. So he was into it about 23. And he flipped it for like $35,000. So he made like 15 on his 18. He made like 70% return. Uh, and he's on his second one. We have uh, another client, Eric, down in Utah. Well, talk about his deals, Jed. So uh, Eric's my favorite, one of our, one of our favorite investors. Um, so a couple of unique things about Eric. So he would buy homes between five and 10,000 and put between 15 and 20,000 into those homes. But the unique thing is his mother loves finding deals. And so she would get into Craigslist or the local classifieds and she would furnish these homes, the entire home with appliances and sofas and beds for $700. And so Eric would sell these fully furnished, improved mobile homes. He'd make between 15 to 20 to $30,000 per home. And his mother was just thrilled because she was able to find these deals and furnish these homes for just pennies on the dollar. Yeah. Uh, and they've done, they've done numbers similar to Pastor John. Uh, right. They've bought them for five, 10, 15,000 fixed them up for five, 10, 15,000 and are making 40, 50, 60% returns on their flips. And if you, so if you, if you're an investor that they can put your hands on $20,000, um, maybe you've been watching the flipping shows. There's some really cool opportunities out there, uh, in this space and you can get started for, for, uh, you know, fixing and flipping or fixing and renting for very little money out of pocket. And, and, you know, Fred, you've been hands-on with the, with the deal that we've been doing. Uh, you haven't been doing real estate as a full-time investor and, you know, you were, you were uh, special forces in the U S army for what was it? 25 years. So, uh, but now, I mean, did you ever think you'd be, 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 uh, flipping trailers? <laughs> no, no, I mean, you know, like a lot of people, there's some stigma attached, right? To trailers, you know, people don't think of it as an asset class. I think that's, you know, we've seen that with all types of rental homes, right? The reason people have a hard time making money with rentals is they try and buy homes they want to live in and fix them up to the standard and then they can't achieve that level of rent. So yeah, absolutely. It's been... Uh, very eye-opening to get into the rental market, both with rental homes and, and trailers. But yeah, huge opportunity that Jed was talking about, um, especially for investors. If you look at the amount of capital that you would need to buy a uh, you know a home and fix and flip that, you know you're talking easily in the 300k range just for a modest home, you know, and, and capital to to buy it, uh, fix it, and flip it. And, you know, when you talk from 300K down to like, you know, 20 to 25K, it's definitely both a way to diversify your, your portfolio more rapidly because you could have 10 mobile home flips going on for the price of one, you know, uh, big major home flip. So much less risk associated with it, no matter what type of capital you're, you're deploying. And then, you know, for, the, for a smaller investor, an easier way to get into the market for sure. Yeah, uh, I started investing 20 years ago, and 18 years ago, I stumbled on a book called uh, Deals on Wheels <laughs> um, by a guy named Lonnie Scruggs, who actually passed away a couple years ago. And, I, and, and you know, I had about an extra $10,000 that wasn't invested. I was living in California, 
I read that book and it kept me up at night because he was showing me how I could get a deal for a thousand bucks. And in two weeks, Jed's going to be teaching those same strategies of how to find a thousand dollar mobile home in an area near you and how to, um, to, to, to move forward on these six different strategies. And so if you're interested in attending that event, it's not going to be given uh, virtually. It will not be recorded. It's just going to be a live training. But you can attend it for $500. Now, you're going to need to fly to Indianapolis. You're going to have, I think, plane tickets right now, about three or 400 bucks. Yeah, if COVID uh, uh, strikes or affects you, I can tell you I, I fly a ton. I have been this whole year. Over the past year with COVID, the airlines will let you change your ticket, give you a credit. No penalty, no fee. Um, so you're going you're gonna to want to fly into Indianapolis on the 20th. Jed's going to start at 9 a.m. on the 21st, teach till 5 p.m. You'll have a chance to meet with him, chat with him, network with him in the evening, uh, beg him to let you in on one of his deals. Uh, the 22nd, he'll be teaching 9 to 5. We're limiting the class size, uh, and, and so there are a limited number of spaces, but it's $500 for um, um, what, what I think is an incredible value. If you've been listening to this day, uh, the, the, listening to this, this uh, presentation, going, now I'm really interested uh, with what they're doing, then we would love to have you attend that. Fred, what's the best way for them to attend the training for 500 bucks? Yeah, yeah. so first I want to mention, we, we've been selling that class that Jed's teaching for, for $3,000. And, and the reason we're obviously uh, offering this COVID special is a lot of our folks that had bought that class for $3,000 had, um, you know, either, you know, didn't want to assume the risk to travel under COVID or other things came up and weren't able to attend. So, but, um, so the way we're doing that, one, we're going to give them a lot more uh, benefit than just being able to, to sort of fill in and jump on a class at the last minute. We're giving them a year of uh, Zoom calls with it, with all of our experts. So yeah, if, uh, if they're watching this on YouTube, they'll need to go to our page and watch it. Um, and on our live stream page, there, there are three buttons. Uh, and the, the third of those buttons is uh, Summit Special 2. If they click on Summit Special 2, it will add a year of Zoom calls to their basket. And as soon as they purchase that, uh, I'll see that receipt and I will send them uh, to our folks that will register them for the live class with Jed. So yeah, they'll have to act fast where Jed's teaching that class in a couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, it's, it's there under summer special too. And then Aaron, I want to bring you back. You know, you, you started talking about the $1,000 uh, deal. And uh, so the other button they'll find is the kickstart button. So if they click on that kickstart button, they'll for forty nine ninety five they'll get to watch an hour uh, video that you put together where you walk people through how to get three different types of deals to find you know three real estate deals for under a thousand. So that video, our real estate one on one video, which is three hours of content with you and Travis, and an IRA one on one video. So back to you know where Dennis walks them through everything they ever want to know about self directed accounts. So that kickstart deal is still out there. Um, so that's on there for 49 bucks. Um, but also if they want to jump on that super special deal where we normally charge 500 bucks for a year of zoom calls. So they'll get that. And then essentially free attendance at Jed's mobile home class, uh, in January. So yeah, both those deals are live on the, on our page right now. So I have a slide here that kind of breaks it all down for you. We have, um, a $49 option and a $500 option, uh, again, with, uh, if you have any questions at all, um, oops, let me let me just type Fred's email here. Just uh, Fred at alpinecs.com is the uh, email. He can walk you through uh, regardless of, of what package. Uh, you're certainly welcome to head over to Aaron Adams Training and go to the live stream section, and there's two buttons there that you'll be able to click on. Um, but uh, if you'd like, you can just email Fred, and he can walk you through it. Uh, our $49 offer today is uh, we have uh, two trainings. One is a 45-minute video that I put together called The Four Hot Buying Strategies in a COVID Market. The other is the my favorite three ways to get a deal for $1,000 or less. And one of the strategies that I mentioned is a mobile home deal. So I talk about that. Um, we, we have a couple of classes that uh, are part of uh, two other classes that are part of that $49 package. 
I have a three-hour training called Real Estate 101. It's your starter training that I've put together for you. I also have one with, that Dennis Blitz and I recorded called IRA 101. And so that's included in the 49. So you got four trainings that you get in the $49 package. Um, we're going to line you up for a one-hour consultation with our real estate coach, Kim. Uh, she uh, is out of Atlanta. She's been a full-time investor for many years. Wasn't she a math major or something, Fred? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I know she did a lot in IT uh, in her early career before she decided that uh, um, math wages uh, were not what she wanted to be earning and that that math theory was much better use running the numbers on real estate deals. <laughs> yeah. So um, if you if you just want to start with a $49 offer, we have four trainings. We got a one hour consultation with our strategist. Um, there's a lot of value there. If you are interested in attending this live training, not only do we give you attendance uh, at the training as part of the $500, we're also going to give you one year access to Zoom meetings with Jet once a month. Jed's going to get on Zoom and answer your questions. So imagine attending the training and then being able to get on a, a Zoom call with Jed once a month and, and have him answer your questions because now you're in the game. You found a $1,000 trailer. You got questions about what you should and shouldn't rehab. Jed will be on that call, and, and we'll, we'll bundle that with that $500 offer. Um, and so uh, we're excited about these, these, these two prospects. Um, like Fred mentioned, we have uh, people that were going to attend the training in January, and uh, now they've decided to wait for the vaccine. Uh, if you've already had COVID, if you've already been vaccinated, if you're not as concerned about exposure to it and you're willing to roll the dice and come to Indianapolis, we will be socially distanced. But, you know, we kind of let every person take the comfort level that they want. And if you would like uh, the mobile home training that's online and pre-recorded, uh, you, you know, email Fred and, and he can get you information about that as well. But uh, for those of you that are interested and say, what the hell, uh, I'm going to buy a plane ticket and head out to Indianapolis in January. Uh, I like the cold. I like uh, not seeing the sun for two days. <laughs> well, you know, we, we have investors. we got about 30 investors that will be out there with us. We'd love to have you join us. Jed will be there regardless because we, we, we already have a handful that have said, I'm going to be there. It's a small group. And so I said to Fred, you know what, we're two weeks out, let's, uh, let's push it. Let's see if people are willing to, would like to attend. And so hopefully by breaking down the opportunities, then in two weeks you can get the specifics on those. Jed will go through each one of those six strategies over the two days and break those down for you step by step. Uh, and, and, and you could be off to the races over the next two weeks. So uh, if you have questions, email Fred at Upline Capital Solutions. Um, and whether you start off with the $49 or the $500 package, we appreciate the time that you spent with us today. And um, do, uh, then if you, if you have an interest about the IRA piece, iraclub.org is uh, where you can find those calculators that, that Ramez and Dennis shared and where you can get inf more information about self-directed IRAs. So we hope uh, to have you reach out. Love to see you in a couple of weeks. Um, and if that doesn't work for you, then we'd love to have you uh, get access to the full online version of the class that we do have available and you can get information on that from fred and so uh guys thanks for the time today right on all right they should get started now all right we'll see you soon